Here's the Wenatchee Valley market update for September 2023. I'm gonna tell you whether or not I think your home value will go up or go down this winter and into 2024. I'm Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and I'm a little shocked with these numbers. I was preparing for this thinking, okay, what am I gonna tell you? Well, let's start with this. I'm gonna tell you that sales are down 32%. Wow, double digit decline in sales. Only 66 homes sold in the Wenatchee Valley last month. That's not a lot, people. You gotta understand, that's not a lot. And it's partly because of demand. Demand is lower. There's not as many buyers looking for homes. Interest rates went from four, three, to four, to five, to seven. They hit nearly 8% last month, and that put a lot of people on the sidelines. Even the people with cash were like, well, let's hold off and see what's gonna happen with this marketplace. And at the same time, inventory, the number of homes on the market, active listings are down 7% compared to last year, but we had a little reprieve. We had a bump in activity because seasonally in July, we put on 26% more listings. So we got this tailwind in the market where it made everyone feel like this is great. Everything's fine. The real estate market, the real estate market is doing great because we had, these, we had more homes in the market. And when we had more homes in the market, the buyers that were active, bought the nicest homes. But the homes that didn't sell were forced to make price reductions, and we're seeing that. The average sales price is down 6% from last year to 538. So homes are making price reductions that aren't selling or don't have the right marketing. So your home value is going down a half a percent every single month. And so we're about to head into the winter months. And what I'm gonna tell you is, is I think it's gonna be fact. Your home's gonna be worth less in 2024 than it is currently. It's gonna be less. In fact, a lot of people thinking about waiting to sell it in the spring or even next summer, your home could be worth 6%, 8%, 10% less. So if you have a $550,000 home, it could be worth 500 or 450 next year. And I kind of know this because I looked at the trends, I looked at the graph in terms of the last five years, and I noticed something interesting. During COVID, or right before COVID, in 2019, late 2019, early 2020, your average sales price in the Wenatchee Valley was 436,000, 430,000. And then COVID hit, low interest rates, boom in the marketplace, people relocating to our area, working remotely, Airbnbs making a ton of money, and people bought up all the homes. And the values went up 25, 30%, two years straight. And we reached $570,000. What you're gonna see is a regression to the mean. We're actually seeing the average sales price start going back to reality, right? And so expect to see the average sales price in our valley go to 450. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked if your home's worth $80,000 less next year. I wouldn't be shocked. So what can you do about that? Well, you can move up your timelines and think about selling earlier, cashing in, and finding temporary housing, moving with someone, or buying a really good deal, that's one option. And I think people should consider that. In fact, we're helping people do that right now. Some other statistics that you need to know about is the average sales price to list price ratio. So what things actually sell for compared to what they asked is 97%. So you put your home on the market for a million, you're gonna get $970,000, right? 3% off. That's not that big of a deal. It really isn't, that's about normal. Now, every market has what I call micro markets, right? So yeah, it's great the average sales price is 550, but Nick, my house is in Sunny Slope and it's worth 900 or a million dollars. Or hey, Nick, my house is on Walker Avenue in Wenatchee and it's probably worth 350. What's going on in my price range? Well, it, homes above a million dollars, it's a buyer's market. Let me say it again, homes above a million dollars, it's a buyer's market. Only one and a half homes a month are selling in that price range. There's 8.7 months of inventory above a million dollars. 13 homes on the market, actually 18 homes on the market right now. So you can get a, you can get a mansion, a million dollar home right now, a great, beautiful, custom built home, probably for less than it would cost you to build. Right now, you can do it. Now, here's the trouble. An 8% mortgage on a million dollar house is a lot of money. So the people that are doing that have a lot of equity in their current house and they're able to buy a home free and clear. 
right? And I know a million dollars free and clear is a lot of money, but people are, are able to do that and they're getting money. They're getting, you know, they're buying homes pennies on the dollar above a million dollars. Now below that, 900 a million, it's a buyer's market. This is interesting, 800 to 900,000, still a buyer's market. Below 800,000, it's a seller's market. Four months of inventory. Four months of inventory. Now, I don't know if you remember this, but there was times when we were calculating inventory in weeks, not months. So we're up to four months. The trend is going towards a, sell, a buyer's market, right? I wouldn't be surprised that if a, a buyer's market's gonna go into the $500,000 price range soon. $500,000 price range right now, it's a seller's market. But soon, it's gonna be a buyer's market, right? As the trends continue. So if you're interested in knowing what your home's worth, we give free, no obligation values. I was just talking to a gentleman in Leavenworth. And he said, I'm not ready, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it in the spring. I said, okay, great. Would you like to know what it's worth today so you have a baseline that we can work off of? and I can tell you if there's gonna be changes in your price range as we move forward to spring. It's like, no, 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 it's okay. I got a lot of stuff. I go, oh, so you don't want me to come over because you have a lot of stuff, it's not ready. Like you need to declutter, you need to clean it up, you need to clean up the yard, have some yard sales. He's like, yeah, of course. I go, I look past all of that. I'm not looking at your stuff, I'm looking at your property, your house. So even if your home's not ready, I know that. I'm not gonna come list it. We're not gonna list it today. We're actually gonna help you out and give you a baseline. You need to know what your baseline value is. So get a hold of us, go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com, and you're probably gonna wanna buy something, right? Something local, so you can search to see what's out there. I'll talk to you guys soon.